our T20 campaigns have, have gone one way. It's the brand of cricket we want to play. Slow ball. Holding. Brilliant from Wokes. I think there's a lot to be, to be proud of. We've taken a lot of learnings and we're only getting better in T20 cricket. And, and, and as a group, we're, we're looking in a really good place. We pride ourselves on being adaptable and playing, playing the game that's in front of us and I think that just holds us in good stead. The, the sort of momentum that that group had and that, you know, I was part of the squad, I was 12th one a lot of time, but you just you sort of seen a lot of young lads absolutely loving life, playing this brilliant brand of cricket, you know, free flowing, expressive brand, brand of cricket. You know, it's just a joy to watch, really. Yeah, we went on a really good run there, and it'd be difficult to, well, I'd be wrong to just summarise it with that one quarter final loss. Um, you know, we lost with two balls to spare by one wicket, so we were behind the game, but testament to our character and fight to, to come back and, and and get close to that game. But no, in answer to your question, I, I really enjoyed it. It's a really good bunch of lads to, to take the field with. I think there was a lot to be to be proud of, and a lot that the fans hopefully enjoy, enjoyed watching. I think that's part of the T20 more and more. Obviously you want results, but it's the way you, the way you get the results and ultimately it's, it's entertainment at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, like you say, it's disappointing that we didn't, didn't get over the line in that quarter final. And uh, that's certainly a, a future aspiration to, to get into finals day and sort of show that, we're, show that we're, we are one of the, if not the best team in the country. Like you say, winning so many games in the group stages was absolutely fantastic and as we know it can happen in knockout stages you know any anyone can win on the day type of thing so and, and even that even that quarter final was a was a pretty brilliant game of cricket you know we we got a score that was below par we know that and to to even get it to the last over was a ridiculous effort there was various run outs in that game various bits of bowling i think dom drake's bowling over the second last that went for three runs or something so the fight there and the passion to get that game to even towards the latter stages was, you know, absolutely brilliant. You could just see the, how hungry the, world, the lads were to try to get to finals there. For us, I thought T20, I thought we were outstanding throughout the whole comp. Haney was absolutely unbelievable with the bat. Um, and, and, and as a group, we're, we're looking in a really good place. Um, and we're just really excited for going into next season and hopefully we can go one step further. What was most pleasing was a brand and how we are going about it. We never say, we never had a never say die attitude. I was injured, I was watching the lads go at it and I was so proud watching them taking the options they did. It just looked effortless. It looked fluid, it looked confident. And I was so proud watching um, the lads go about their business. Three quarter finals is, I think is, a, is almost a non-negotiable for this club and for this group of players. Yes, we want to get to finals day, but I think we've we've got we've taken a lot of learnings and we're only getting better in T20 cricket. I think you can see from the players who come in, I think the depth that we use this year, especially maybe 17 or 18 players who all come in and quite rightly can play T20 cricket for the club. We had a very good squad um, and everyone sort of chipped in with match winning performances the whole way through, different people the whole way. This batting lineup especially, you got players in and amongst it who complement each other. You got Masley and Benjamin. You got Bethel as well. Um, you got the slightly more orthodox players in me and Yatesy. You got Dave Owens um, up top in his keeper. So you got a good blend of how people approach the game differently, but that ultimately can't hinder. You. Um, it really complements the different styles we we have within the group. They made my job really easy. We've got a lot of options in the bowling department, whether we want to go seam bowling up top if the pitch helps, or the likes of Mouse and Briggsy can bowl in the power play. Davo is absolutely outstanding. Um, obviously, we know exactly what he can do. Obviously, being so successful at Lancashire over the years, and the last two seasons at Warwickshire have been absolutely unbelievable. And he's a really good lad and a really good um, captain. And and for us, he's he's brilliant. He backs you to the hill and he'll defend you all the time and, and for me when you get a lot of backing from a player like him it means a lot and it just means you go out and play the game and, and trust your own skill and that's exactly what we did and and having him in T20 cricket he sets out a clear goal we're going to be positive we're going to be aggressive we are going to make mistakes but we're always going to set, set that high standard we're always going to play that blueprint of cricket 
which makes such a difference because then you're very clear there's no mixed messages or anything like that and he just leads from the front and everyone else follows behind him. And we don't want to create some sort of um, voodoo or whatever it might be about a 2020 quarter final. Um, the positive is we're getting in them positions and we're, we're getting home quarterfinals as well. Um, and opposition won't want to play us. Like that's the thing. If you keep winning consistently year on year, teams won't want to play us and our quality hopefully will shine through if we keep putting ourselves in them positions. You know, things can change quite quickly. It's a momentum competition almost. Um, so I think to, to do that two years in a row, um, yeah, not quite get over the line. We got close this year on a, um, against Essex here, but um, hopefully, you know, one next season we can go and get here on finals day because ultimately that's what that's what we want to that's what we set out to do every year. Yeah, I've said I've said before to, to different people we will win the T20. I, I firmly believe it. You don't always get the rewards that you deserve straight away, um, but the work we've done the last two years is pushing us towards being a, a very dominant T20 team, and hopefully we'll we'll reap those rewards in the years to come.